Are you a mechanical engineer? Have you ever worked with the BIW parts? Did you design sheet metal brackets? Do you want to make your career in the BIW domain? I am presenting you with a proper way to become an automotive design engineer in the BIW domain. Let's begin. Here I am showing a roadmap to becoming an automotive BIW design engineer. There are a total of 5 steps that will help you to become an automotive BIW design engineer. Step 1 will help you to build your strong foundation. It will create strong fundamental knowledge in CAD software like CATIA or Unigraphics. You have to make expertise in surfacing and CAD methodology. In step 2, you have to understand and gain fundamental knowledge of the automotive BIW product design domain. You have to understand what are the inside key parameters that are used during BIW development. Here you have to learn about materials. What are the different materials used for the BIW parts? Their thicknesses. Their strength criteria for development. And what are the DFA, DFM and DFS for BIW parts? In step 3, you are going to get exposure to realistic projects by utilizing all the gained fundamental information and knowledge of step 2 on the actual industrial projects. These projects consist of front door, tailgate design, hood design, sheet metal parts, brackets, etc. These projects help you to understand the correlation between your gained knowledge and realistic projects. Step 4 is where you have to practice more on the industry level CAD tests. You have to learn how to tackle tricky CAD tests and how to solve them within a limited time. Also, you have to learn the tactics, important aspects and strategies to be used during the CAD test. In step 5, you will prepare yourself for the technical round of interviews where you have to showcase all the technical skills you learned from step 2 to step 4 in front of the interviewer. You have to show your technical skill level, project knowledge, problems faced during projects, and how you solved them. Now, let's go into details. Let's take step 1. You have to act on CAD software. Mostly CATIA or Unigraphics is used in the automotive industry, as both are good at surfacing. Here you will get to know in detail the various workbench present in both software which is highly recommended to be learned. The workbenches like Sketcher, Part Design, Surface Design, Assembly, Drafting, Kinematic Simulation, etc. You should able to go through all these workbenches while doing the industry level assignments. Also, you have to learn advanced level of surfacing and CAD methodology. Now, let's move towards step 2. Here. You have to learn about the different types of press machines available and how to choose them for a BIW part. You will see what are the die concepts and parting surface. You will understand how the BIW parts get manufactured, the kind of tool which is developed, how that tool works and will be used in the press tool. You will understand all these aspects in this die concept and part introduction. Now, you have to understand the BIW material properties and the selection of materials for various parts. You can see what the different materials are, how their grades are selected and changed according to the criteria of strength. How the materials like steel and aluminum and their grades and alloys are selected and how the various properties of materials are improved accordingly. Yeah. You have to learn what are the different body types and BIW parts. You will see various car body types from micro to hatchback to pickup. You will learn about key parts in a BIW like the body side, roof, hood, fender, doors, etc. Now, what are the guidelines you have to follow during designing a sheet metal part to make the part manufacturable? Here in this section, you have to see the sheet metal product design guidelines. Here, you have to understand what are the A surface parts in the BIW design. So like a door or hood or fender of a car where the outer panel that looks to you while standing outside of the car is made with a styling surface also known as A surface. 
understanding the complete design and development of outer panels and inner reinforcement, inner panels are of the same family from the A surface. There will be different CAD methodology skills that you will learn, like how to replace A surface. You will understand how to check the tooling feasibility, update an A surface as per sections, and A surface quality check criteria. Here, you will understand the BIW feature creations with the application. So there are different features that are provided to BIW parts. Maybe for strength, maybe for the mounting of the part to the main frame, maybe for welding purposes, or for the functionality requirement of the part. These kinds of BIW features are to be learned. Then you have to understand what is a digital mock-up and packaging study for the BIW parts. There you will see how to check the clash, clearance, bite, gap, flush, and rat holes. Also, you have to gain knowledge related to safety regulations. There are three major safety regulations. Those are American FMVSS, that is, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. Another is ECE, which is European. There is an Indian, that is, AIS, which is developed by ARAI. Yeah, you have to understand the fasteners and their applications. You will see different kinds of BIW, fasteners, bolting, riveting, etc. How it is used, how it will be helpful to develop a BIW product and its part. You have to understand the design for manufacturing and assembly of BIW parts, that is, DFMA. You will understand how the manufacturability of a part is decided, how a part assembly is planned, and what the criteria are to create a new part. Here you will learn about how cross-functional teams work together concurrently. Here, you have to understand how the master sections are created and how a junior designer has to follow these master sections to make a final 3D part. A master section is a replica of the sections that you will see after generating complete a 3D model. So it is developed in an initial state and helps or guides the design engineer who is developing the part. You have to understand how to do remastering, that is, dumb to para creation. Here you will understand the welding type like spot welding, laser welding, co to welding, etc. And how this welding is done with BIW parts, how we are locating the points and lines for the welding, and what are the design guidelines for the weld to follow to provide access to the spot weld gun. You have to understand the different joining methods of BIW parts. You will understand how the rivets, stacking, stamping, hemming, crimping, and these kinds of features are developed for the joining. Here, there is a need to understand how a car is developed, and how a competitor's car is benchmarked to develop a new vehicle. And, also, what the benchmarking strategies are. Now, it's time to go for step 3. Here. You have to understand how a project starts from zero or scratch. You have to understand what is the project workflow. You have to learn how the input comes, how the benchmarking and design guidelines activities started, how to do a packaging study, how to check the AE surface feasibility or its issues, how to resolve them, and how to move further to complete the development of a part. Now, for step 4. You have to understand different BIW parts and have to see how to solve these CAD tests. You will understand the strategy for solving these CAD tests in the assigned time frame. Last but not least, that is step 5. In the technical interview, your 80% base knowledge will be from your projects. So you have to show your skills through your projects only. You will learn how to give your interview through mock interview rounds. After solving all these things, you have to make yourself more presentable, and you have to present yourself in front of the interviewer. You have to showcase your knowledge of all the projects, whatever you have done. And you will learn how to showcase yourself and do the best performance in front of the interviewer. Now, here is a new step. That is step 6, which is additional, or we can call it an add-on step to enhance your knowledge. Here. You can also develop some additional knowledge related to this BIW domain. 
you can develop knowledge like tolerance stack up electrical vehicle technologies and dimension systems like gd and t these are the topics that provide additional edge to you during learning in a domain also you can get knowledge of some other domains like plastic product design where you will be able to understand how the plastic parts are developed how the plastic team and biw team work together and how they work in concurrent engineering in synchronization with each other how the new development in biw is going to affect the plastic product design engineers environment and so on we recommend to everyone first learn only one domain then take at least 6 months of industry level experience and exposure to that domain and then you can take additional knowledge of another domain now we are going to see how i sopara will be going to help you in achieving these steps and in becoming an automotive design engineer let's begin i sopara has all the relevant courses mentioned in each step earlier these courses are made by experts and used by learners globally to study the automotive biw product design domain let's see what are these courses step 1 courses are basic to advanced cad course in katia and ugnx master surfacing course in katia and ugnx cad methodology course in katia and ugnx kinematic simulation course in katia and ugnx cad interview questions course in katia and ugnx for step 2 the course is fundamental course in automotive biw product design in katia and ugnx then for step 3 the courses are project of automotive tailgate design course in katia and ugnx project of automotive hood design course in katia and ugnx project of automotive side door design course in katia and ugnx and many more then the step 4 is cad test courses each cad test course contains 15 cad tests to practice the last step is step 5 yeah for this step give a call to the technical team of i sopara on the given number only after the completion of step 4 I Sopara's technical team will help you in preparing for technical interview. Also, I Sopara will also provide you with a mock interview with automotive OEM industry experts. This is how I Sopara will be going to help you to achieve these steps and also in becoming an automotive design engineer. To discuss more, feel free to contact the technical team. Thank you.